Now to that trouble on the tarmac. Two jet blue planes collide at Boston's Logan Airport. You can see the wing damage there. One of those jets was supposed to take people to Orlando. News 6's Emily McLeod joins us now live outside MCO where that flight eventually made it today. But Emily, passengers had to take a different plane to get here. Yeah, exactly. And a lot of those passengers tell us they were impressed with how quickly JetBlue was able to get them on another flight. Now, we spoke to a lot of those passengers right here at Bag Claim 51 in Terminal C as they were getting their luggage and getting ready for their vacations here in Orlando. A lot of them tell us they have never experienced anything like what they went through this morning. And they even tell us at first the crews were kind of confused as to what happened, but they were eventually they were quickly able to figure it out, keep everybody calm. So needless to say, those passengers are happy to be on the ground here in Orlando. And that had to be really startling when the planes ran into each other. Yeah, it felt like there was like a high wind or I don't know, earthquake or something. We didn't know. Nobody knew. Chris McDonough was one of the passengers on the JetBlue aircraft that made contact with another plane at Boston Logan International Airport. The two JetBlue planes, one heading to Orlando and one heading to Las Vegas, clipped each other Thursday morning. McDonough says he booked his flight two days ahead of his cruise's departure in case anything unexpected happened. A couple days early just for these kind of reasons. Both JetBlue Flight 551 to Orlando and Flight 777 were departing around the same time. JetBlue says the crash happened as one of the planes was entering a de-icing lane and hit the second JetBlue plane on an adjacent de-icing lane. According to the Federal Aviation Administration, the left wing of one plane hit the horizontal stabilizer of another jet around 640 Thursday morning. A few moments later, uh, they updated us to let us know that um, another plane had come into contact with ours. Um, but the flight uh, attendants were so, you know, communicative, uh, kept us up to date and really uh, kind of dulled any concern that there was. In a statement, JetBlue says in part, safety is JetBlue's priority and we will work to determine how and why this occurred. Now that statement from JetBlue also goes on to say that no injuries were reported from crew members or passengers and that both planes have been taken out of service and are getting some repairs done right now. Those passengers, though, they got in around 1.20 this afternoon and every single passenger that we spoke to said they are grateful that that delay didn't take as long as it possibly could have. Of course, we're going to keep following this story for more updates. We'll bring them to you on ClickOrlando.com. For now, reporting at Orlando International Airport, I'm Emily McLeod, getting results, News 6. Yeah, and the important thing is they all made it here safely. Emily, thank you.